You want to be able to unmask narcissists and crush them in mediation. In this video, I'm going to give you four Jedi-like tactics to be able to crush them in mediation and be able to win, break free, move on with your life in the way that you deserve to. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, I am Rebecca Zung and I am an attorney and I am here to empower you with resources so that you can finally take back your life. I am an attorney. I am also a globally recognized narcissist negotiation expert and I am the author of the best-selling book, Slay the Bully, How to Negotiate with a Narcissist and Win. And if you have not pre-ordered that, book yet. What are you waiting for? Make sure that you do that now at slaythebully.com so that you can join my private launch team, my exclusive launch team. I want you with me so that we can save the world against narcissists. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that now. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's dive into unmasking narcissists for Jedi-like tactics to crush narcissist in mediation. What do we start with here? We start with powerful body language, powerful body language. If you walk into a negotiation and a mediation and you are fearful of them, they can tell, they can read you, they can read that body language on you. And I want you, even if you are sweating, even if you are scared, even if you are like dying, here are some ways that you can show up for yourself in a way that looks powerful, right? So remember, we're on our mission to right this ship, to course correct. I talk about step one, uh, don't run. Step two, make a U-turn. Step three, break free, right? And if you haven't heard me say this before, it's step one is where you stop that conditioning, stop that retreating. You're going to start walking forward instead of backward. And this is where you're going to start drawing boundaries and start doing some things that are uncomfortable. Small changes, but pivotal. Step two, make a U-turn. You're going to start turning things around, starting to create leverage, start planning for negotiations and shifting that dynamic of power. And then step three is breaking free where you start walking forward and you start presenting your offers. You actually start speaking. You actually start reclaiming your sense of self slowly, but surely knowing that somewhere inside of your, or yourself that you never left. And that's that really authentic power, which totally beats their fake power every single time. How can you have some nonverbal communication that, that, power body language. You walk in, you've got eye contact. You look at them and you go, you know what? I'm not afraid of you. I'm here. I'm looking at you. And you're going, hello, I see you. I'm here. And, and you go, you stick out your hand, you shake their hand, depending on who it is that you're dealing with. You're, you're showing them I'm strong. I'm powerful confident handshake. And that's the only appropriate expression of touch. Now I'm talking about this. This is not, if you are in a domestic violence situation, you do not need to do that. Uh, obviously for the most part, I think that in a mediation situation, you should be in separate rooms. I think that you should do something that I call caucusing other than for the opening, let the mediator do their little opening spiel. Hi, I'm the mediator. This is your day of opportunity. This is who I am. Blah, 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 blah. That's all you need to do. Separate rooms for the rest of the time. Other than that, you can just walk in. I'm powerful. Attention to all of you who have ever felt trapped by a narcissist. Are you struggling in a relationship with a narcissist and feeling powerless or paranoid and not sure what to do? It is time to take back control and flip the script on their game. I want to introduce to you the ultimate solution to breaking free from the grip of narcissistic manipulation. Join me for a groundbreaking webinar called The Three Must-Have Secrets 
to communicating with a narcissist. Hi, my name is Rebecca Zung, and I've been recognized by U.S. News as one of the best lawyers in America, and I'm a globally recognized narcissist negotiation expert, and I've spent years studying and mastering the art of negotiating with narcissists. I know firsthand the devastation these relationships can cause, but I also know the key to regaining your power and I know how to shift the dynamic with these high conflict personalities. In this exclusive webinar, you will discover the three essential secrets to go from feeling paralyzed and feeling like a victim to becoming victorious. This isn't just theory. These are proven techniques that I have used to help literally thousands of people go from feeling powerless to feeling victorious and actually breaking free from the grip of narcissistic control. Hi, my name is Heather and I have never felt so compelled to give a review as I do now for attorney Rebecca Zung. The strength I had gained and the confidence that I had gained from Rebecca actually allowed me to get a different self-worth and presence in myself. And due to that, I was actually able to pick myself up within, made tremendous difference. And, you know, she has literally changed the situation for me and mostly given me a sense of presence, strength, self-confidence and well-being that um, I'm just so grateful for her. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. I know Rebecca Zung. She interviewed me, but I'm also aware of all of her products. What she's doing is saving people who are going through the dark night of the soul. This can be the turning point for you. Don't let that narcissist have that grip on your life any longer. It's time to rewrite your history and take charge of your future and unlock that power within you. Sign up now for three must-have secrets to communicating with narcissists and embark on a transformational journey toward your freedom, toward your empowerment, break free from the grasp of that narcissist and create the life that you deserve. Join me, attorney Rebecca Zung, narcissist negotiation expert, and let's rewrite your narrative together. Register now at Slay dot rebeccazung.com and let's take the first step toward your life of victory commanding posture commanding presence i'm strong i stand in my power even if you are your breath is is being taken away you stand there you show you are not backing down remember this is from the moment that you walk into that room and even if you are on a zoom video by the way and that camera is turned on, you are sitting in your seat and you are sitting tall and you are showing that you are not backing down. And by the way, same with your tone of voice. Narcissists see if you're scared at all, they feel that, they know that they still have got this control over you. You want to show that they don't have any power over you anymore. As far as your personal appearance goes, you're going to want to wear clothes that make you feel confident, that present that you feel confident, that you feel respect of for yourself. Wear something that makes you feel like a million bucks, that makes you feel powerful, that makes you feel like you know what you're doing. Whoever the most powerful version is of yourself, that's the person that is showing up. Your body posture. You're not slouching. You're showing to that narcissist and, and everybody else in the room too, that you are not somebody to be beaten, that you are a winner, that you're telling everybody in that room how you're carrying yourself. Before you even open your mouth, they know who you are. When you walk into that room, you stand up straight. Body posture can be used to determine a person's level of respect as soon as they walk into a room. So bad posture, like slouching, can be an indicator of a lot of different things, including 
whether or not somebody is bored or involved in a conversation or whatever. So, you know, make sure that you are sitting there and you know, they know that you know who you are right from the beginning. Personal space, narcissists can be extremely sensitive about their personal space. So be very careful about that when you're dealing with whoever this narcissistic person is. Be a hyper aware of that personal space issue. And you just remember that your, your hand gestures, whatever it is that you're doing, you're very purposeful about it. You're not fidgeting. You're not playing with your hair. You're not finger tapping. You're not hand wringing. You're not twisting your rings. You know, you want to avoid looking nervous. You want to avoid looking anything, but totally confident. You know, you want to make sure that you are not slouching. You're not sitting in the chair like, oh, you know, bored or whatever. You know, you sit in the chair in a powerful way and you can actually use some of the power body language moves that, that there are out there. Like steepling shows that, you know, you are confident you're, you're making a point over here or you know, you put your, your arm over the chair, the chair drape shows confidence, openness, that sort of thing. Leaning into a conversation when you're sitting in a chair, avoid jiggling, avoid jiggling your feet, avoid jiggling your, your legs too much, because then that can make you appear to be nervous. So those are just some things that you can do for, for looking confident and strong in a, from a body language point of view. All right. So that is the first thing for your Jedi power in your mediation. The second thing that you can do is be prepared with your leverage. Make sure it's something that's going to threaten a source of narcissistic supply that is going to be more important for them to keep than the supply that they get from jerking you around. Remember, I talk about diamond level supply versus coal level supply. Make sure that you remember that. That is going to be very, very, very important when looking at how to deal with narcissists. And I have a whole video on how to create leverage with narcissists, which you're definitely going to want to check out. When you're dealing with narcissists, there's a couple of different types of narcissistic supply and understanding those forms of supply is going to be really, really important. Understanding strategy, understanding leverage, understanding anticipate you, my whole slay method is going to be very, very critical and having two options for them, the option that you want them to take, and then the option that they're not going to want to take. And having that neutral mediator present it to them is going to be really, really critical as well. And if you don't have my Crush My Negotiation Prep Worksheet, which is a free 15-page e-booklet, I would highly recommend that you get that at winmynegotiation.com. It will help you so much in preparing to crush them in mediation. It's free. It will help you. Make sure you go get it. It's not one of those freebies that doesn't really do anything. It's a freebie that's actually super substantive. So make sure you go get that right now. And just put in the comments right now, I'm going to win. I'm here to win, which is what you're going to do because what follows after I am is your order that you are placing to the universe and you're here to win. And that's what's happening, right? So make sure that you are here to win. The next thing is be prepared to walk away. Be prepared to go to trial if you need to. You know, understand what your choke point is. Know what your risks are. You know, when you go in there, if you're not prepared to go to trial or walk away, then they're on, then they know they have you. Understand that you're ready to to take option A or option B. Be so ready to go. My either one is fine with me. Your choice. You want to control that narrative. You want to be in the position of power. So you've got to have done your homework. You want to be the one telling that mediator what's going to go down. 
And so you got to be prepared with how it's going to go down. You want to have your offer one ready to go, offer two ready to go. You want to know how this is going to shake out and you want to know what your, your, your choke point is, what your walk away point is before you get there, because the day is going to be stressful. And by the way, you need a a lot of support around this. So, you know, this whole uh, idea of dealing with a narcissist when you're negotiating and all of this whole process is stressful. So, you know, I hope that you have the kind of support that you need. Please join my, my private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Zung, and make sure that you get therapy And if you don't have access to therapy on, you know, we have a sponsor on this channel, which is BetterHelp, and you can go to betterhelp.com forward slash Rebecca Zung to get access to that. It is a sponsor on this channel, which means that we receive commissions. You don't pay any extra. We just want you to have access to help and support that you can trust. Next is you need to be prepared to make them sign the agreement. So what I would do is I would have an agreement in word format or even on Google docs or something like that, ready to go with what it is that you want, but ready to be edited as well. It's going to get changed. It's going to be obviously go through many different formats But if you have kind of the basics there, you know, the boilerplate language and all the other things sort of spelled out so that all you have to do is change the terms as you go along, then it can be just ready to hit print and get them to sign because they will change their mind about it before they even get to the parking lot. If you let them leave, and you think you've got a deal, and all you have to do is type up the terms, they will have changed their minds. You will never pin them down. It's like, you know, how do you solve a problem like Maria? How do you pin a wave and how do you catch a wave and pin it down? You're never going to get them to sign because they get off on jerking you around and playing this game with you, having you all over the place. And many times they find a lawyer who plays the same games. And you know who's paying the price for all of that? You. You're paying for a lawyer for a 15,000 iterations of an agreement for the next several weeks. And then you never end up getting anything signed anyway. And meanwhile, your emotions are all over the place and you never got anything signed because you thought you had an, an agreement. You thought you had a deal at the end of mediation, but you didn't. And then you end up having to go to trial anyway. So if you want to make sure you get a deal done, have an agreement ready to go. Those are my four Jedi-like tactics to crush them in mediation. I want to know what you think of them. Put your thoughts in the comments. The next video that I want you to watch is five ways you've already defeated the narcissist because there are many ways that you have already defeated that narcissist, all right? It is going to be so sweet and so good for you when you actually are fully done defeating the narcissist. All right. And I'm so glad that you're here. Remember that you are so close to being empowered and so close to being done. The fact that you're you're already here, the fact that you're already finding this knowledge, the fact that you're already finding this power, you are creating the best version of yourself already right now. I'm so honored to be a part of your journey. And remember, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure you like it, make sure you share it out with other people so that they can find benefit from it as well. And make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in that next video, five ways you've already defeated that narcissist. And remember that today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. I'm Rebecca Zung, and I will see you in that next video.